despite the pouring rain, these photographs taken in local Queens parks brighten up Jamaica's streets Wednesday. I hope that it inspires people or that it makes people feel good when they see the photos. Jamaica resident Dominique Sinaganza is one of two artists showcased in this outdoor installation called the Art and Soul of the Southeast Queens community. It's fantastic. I think that it's well needed. I think that this is really the beginning of the beautification of downtown Jamaica. This is part of the Department of Transportation's Art Displays program. It's an opportunity for the city and the agency to enliven some underutilized spaces and bring some culture and art um, to places where you normally don't expect to see it. Organizers say it's one of the first steps in revitalizing this neighborhood. DOT worked with the Jamaica Center Business Improvement District and the Jamaica Center for Arts and Learning to bring this exhibit to Parsons Boulevard and Jamaica Avenue. This area is the gate way to downtown Jamaica. Uh, we have uh, 260,000 people coming through downtown each day. Our goal is to make this a more welcoming district. The arts are sort of pathways to quality and to comfort and to self-enrichment. Artist in Jamaica resident Margaret Rose Vendries did these paintings of famous African singers wearing masks. I'm so proud. This is this is my home. This is my neighborhood. The art panels will stay here for six months and then move throughout the five boroughs. Jamaica residents say they welcome the artwork while it's here. In an area that can be quite hectic, uh, especially during peak travel times. So looking at this tends to bring you down a little bit into a very peaceful space. In Jamaica, Agnes Chung, New York One.